So I'm about to show you guys some cool things that I discovered. Every day I'm learning more and more about this. So I'll be keep putting out videos on information that I've learned. All right, so this is basically how to edit um, individual sounds and making them your own within Arcade. They're already super unique. I'm going to show you some cool stuff you can do. All right, so we're going to go to Create. I'm going to go to, we're going to go to Software Instrument, of course. And the Empty Channels Trip. You know, we don't want that, so we want to go to AU Instruments, right? And then we're going to go to Output, and we're going to go to Arcade Studio. Look. All right, so the first thing that's going to pop up is going to always be the feed. The feed is just like, what's the latest um, thing within Arcade? Um, they got blogs, right? Um, they have tutorials. Okay, you know, just some cool new sounds that they may have added. Um, this page will give you all the information you need to stay inspired. Okay, you see that they have um, producers that use, you see them using it. And I love to see people create because I get um, inspired to create. All right, also from this page, you can access um, your stuff, right? So your recent downloads and your favorites. I always like to come here when I've like browsed through everything and I just haven't found nothing that I was feeling in that moment, I'll come here and like, look, and then I'll see some of my favorites. And I'm like, oh, I still like this. Like, let me use this. And, you know, so yeah, keep in touch with yourself. All right. All right. So these back to basics gets to get you started. Fresh Trap Kids, if you like the trap sound. They got different genres, so if you like the lo-fi, they got that down there, guitar elements, if you like, you know, real songs in your music, which I do. Um, drum patterns, Dark Abyss, Fresh, you know, you already said it. All right, so anyway, we're going to go to Lines. All right, Lines is basically all of the expansions and genres within Arcade. All right, so yeah, you just want to go and dig through each and see what you like, all right? And if you need, if you're like coming here for certain things, you can always type it in here and search it. All right, so I'm going to be looking for piano stuff. This sounds cool. I can't see that at all. Piano. All right, and then it's going to bring up the different expansions that um, hold piano sounds. Um, okay, so I'm going to go to here. You can see I already favorite this song, because I like everything, I ain't going to lie. Um, so let's pick you some. Let's get to it. When I like it, I favorite it, basically. So I'm going to download this. I'm going to click download. And then I'm going to load it up into my keyboard. So then when you go to play up here, you will see that it's loaded up. So 
you go to kit, you will see all the kits you've saved if you press the heart, it'll bring up all the ones you saved. I think that is that. Um, and then they also got, you know, sub genres within it, hood. You can just keep going forever what you like. Because I like a million things. I don't know if you're like me. All right, so I'm going to go to play. All right, so off rip. Pull up our keyboard. All right, let's see what these macros do. Um, I want to change the key of the song. I like F minor. So you want to go all right to get to F minor you want to go to F oh, well, minor um, you want to make sure you click click minor because otherwise it will be major and then you go to F and you want to go major 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 so let's go to minor let's see what we got um, why do I suck at tutorials <laughs> I like to test out what the macro is going to be. Let me play my computer. So this is a little distortion. I like the way this are we learn. Be some good atmosphere. All right, so you can uh, change the speed of these, which is pretty cool, by halftime. Also double time, double speed it. All right. And it automatically syncs with your BPM. Sorry, some Stevie Wonder type stuff, you hear me? All right, so I'm about to, I want to edit this, right? All right, so you want to go to edit on this white key. All right, so if you click this undo button, it'll show you the whole, you can um, open up the whole sample.
So if I wanted to, I can just, you know, drag this markers here. You can also um, change the pitch if you wanted to. And then, see, that don't want to affect none of the other ones. All right, but I'm going to go back to that. Um, All right, you can reverse it if you want it. Give it a whole new sound. Let's see. So if you go to the filter, you can change um, the filter. Like you can go to the filter nozzle, which is this right here, and change it however you like it. How cool would that be um, automated? Change it. Change it there. But you get the point. So just play with these things to get the sound you want. Alright. It's pretty cool. Alright. Advanced. Alright, I think that's there. So like this is the low range, mid range, high range. We go to browse. I want to show you something that's pretty cool too as well. Um, I guess we want to load this up. All right, let, let me show you how to save it first. Okay, so go to play. If you like what you did, you can go to save. And then you can just put nice browsers. My edit. Okay. And then there you go. And then if you you will have things that you saved, you can you can also save it here if you want. My edit barcode. Save. So then you can pull it up right there.
there's no further reason to that so i'm going to go back to browse oh uh, like i said i want to show you guys something so load that up so it's loaded okay all right This is pretty cool. Um, something you can do. Uh, all right, so you can raise it octave, and it'll it'll um, raise all of the. It'll raise like the pitch, and it'll keep you in the same key. You can also lower it. 